All right, folks, you are in the how to do it section on the program grounds website. And uh, if you have this particular brand of timer, this is the Rainbird ESP TM2 controller. Okay, so if you have this brand, I'm going to show you how to at least program it so that you're not doing number one, wasting water with having a bunch of programs, and number two, know how to use it and, and adjust the times, dates, and all that without having to call a professional. I mean, you can call us, I'll do it, but you know, there'll be a service fee or whatever. Some guys do it for free if you have a contract, but uh, I'm going to show you how to work this timer without having to, uh, you know, call someone or ask for help, okay? So, I'm gonna open this up here. You can see it's in the in the off position. I'm gonna turn it on. You see it's Sunday. Okay, we're gonna let it focus. Okay. Now the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna look at it closer, get a little closer for you. Date. Okay, you're gonna turn the dial to date. All right? We're going to adjust. Okay. I believe today is the eleventh. Or the 12th to save the 12th now we're gonna hit this arrow to go over some okay let's let it focus then we're gonna hit this arrow right here okay and go over to January but it's not January because today is August so we hit the arrow button to go over the right arrow button August, okay, hit the right arrow button again, and it's 2018, okay, so I'm assuming it's not the 12th, so it says, it's saying Sunday, so we must be off, it must be the 13th, because today is Monday, but we're going to go back, so we're hitting the other button to go back, there we go, it's 13th, so it's the 13th, because today is Monday, okay, now, we got all that going. Now we got to adjust the times. So we keep hitting the right arrow button. Over. Okay. Go over some more. Now it's going to show you the time. Okay. It's 4 o'clock p.m. And go over. Keep going until we get to 4 o'clock p.m. Okay. We keep pressing that right, up, right, that right button. But we got to adjust the minutes. So we got to hit the right button over you see you get that right button over and it's just 415 okay hit the minus button to go down now the next part that we're going to do see now watch we're going to put back automatic see monday 4 15 p.m okay but the main issue that customers have is those start times which is right here we're going to go to start times. For a residential system, all you need is one start time. You don't need two. You don't need three. You don't need four. Okay? Reason being is that if you have multiple start times, your clock is just going to start over again. And it'll never shut off. And if you're on city water, reclaim water, you're going to have a really high bill. Okay? Because... The clock is thinking that it's going to start over again. For example, if you put a start time at, let's say, 12 a.m. And then you click this right arrow button over. And you put another start time at, let's say, 1, 1, 1 a.m. What's going to happen is, if you have four zones, because this is a four zone timer when when the time hits 1 p.m. it's going to start back over again to to to, uh, to 1 p.m. therefore not not completing the zone watering cycle which means instead of having a total of two hours of of, of irrigation runtime you're having about four hours or five hours depending on how many zones you have you could have you, you might end up having eight hours when really you're supposed to have four which means high water bill okay or if you have a lake water pump 
you're going to have a lot of oversaturation and you start getting into some landscaping issues as far as with root rot and, and fungus, okay? But let's get rid of this because all we need is one start time. We're going to delete this out. See? Off. Just keep going until it says off. Go back to one. One start time is all you need. One. For If you're a residential home, one start time. Unless you have new landscaping and sod, then you got to call a professional to come customize it for you. But in the meantime, you need one start time. Okay? Now, run times. Okay? In this four zone timer, you know, plus or minus, go up one or go down some. Zone two, hit the right arrow button over, go up or go down. And you keep going until you're, you know, done with all your zones. Or go down. If you want to take away or add, it's up, it's, it's up to you at your discretion or up to your landscaper. Okay? But this is a four zone one. They have six, eight. It, it's the same process. You just keep going up until all of your zones have the sufficient amount of time. Okay? Days to water. That, that days to water right there. Okay? Days to water. Now, with water restrictions here in Orange County, Florida, uh, even homes are uh, Thursdays and Sundays, and odds are Wednesdays and uh, Saturday, I believe. Yes, Wednesday and Saturday for odd, Thursday and Sunday even. Okay? So, that being said, we're going, now we have the dial set. Let's look clear up there. We have the dial set on days run. Okay? Right there, days run. That one right there. Days run. And you and you can use these two to move forward. Right now it's on Monday. We have to turn Monday off. Advance it over. You see the right these two right up buttons, advance it over. Okay. Off. Well we can't we we, we have to go back because we have to turn Tuesday off. Okay, now for example, if uh, you want a Wednesday on, of course you would move the arrows back and forth. You know, there's Monday, there's Tuesday, here's Wednesday. You hit the plus button to turn Wednesday on. If you're on the odd days, you see now Wednesday is on. Thursday needs to be off. Saturday needs Friday needs to be off, and Saturday needs to be off. What well, did, 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 did we say odd? Yes. So. Saturday needs to be on, and Sunday needs to be off. But did you see how I do that? And it's the same thing if you're on even days. You apply the same steps, but you put in Thursday and Sunday. Okay? And as far as for programming, that's all you need. You don't need to do anything else when it comes to programming. This user-friendly timer, very user-friendly. Now... If you're one of those people who want to see your irrigation come on without messing with none of the times, all you do is make sure the dial is on auto run, right? Make sure the dial is on auto run and you just hold it for a couple seconds. See, that's how it started. And then it'll go to number one, where wherever your zone number one is, that'll come on first. Okay. And then, and then you just advance it. Or let it go through a cycle, but once it's done, it will go back to normal programming, okay? And that's basically it. That's how you program a ESP TM2 timer. And uh, I will put up more timers on here, different brands, because everyone does not have the same brand of timer. And then, you know, be able to save some money and adjust your timer accordingly, you know? All right, this is Ken with Program Ground Services. And we're in the how to do section of how to program a irrigation timer. And I'll be posting up more videos with different brands of timers.